So this is going to be the first tutorial, and the first tutorial is going to be about just creating labels in Xcode and just doing basic things. The goal will be to create an app like this. It's not really that advanced. It's simple stuff with the end goal being create a, create a Mad Libs. So the first mini app we're going to create is Hello World. All it's going to do is print Hello World. We're not going to go into the whole implications of making these buttons switch the view we're just gonna try and print hello world to it so we're gonna go into Xcode on the Mac and we're gonna create a new Xcode project and then we're gonna go to application and we're gonna make it a single view application and we're not gonna worry about these bad boys over here and we're gonna make it called hello world and my spelling is awful. The company identifier doesn't really matter. The the class prefix not really matter. I don't really want to go into creating a thing for iPad as well, so we're just going to make it iPhone and storyboards, automatic reference counting and unit tests aren't really necessary for this part of the app. And I'm going to put this in engineering and call it a day okay that is inconveniently placed okay so button of death alright so first we're gonna go to the nib the nib and the nib is what's about to show up on the screen and this is the nib I know it says X, but that's just how it says it. So the nib is basically our little cheat mechanism for this app. We're not going to go into learning how to draw rectangular buttons or round rect buttons or segmented control and how to make them look good. We're just going to drag and drop. And then we can put in hello world and that's all it is. We can run it and it's gonna, our iPhone's gonna come up after this compiles and all of a sudden we've created an app that says hello world congratulations we've done it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a button here and I'm gonna make this button change hello world to hello self and I'm going to create another button that will change it back to hello world. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of this part right here by clicking this button. I'm going to get rid of this button here because I don't want it. And then I'm going to press this. And this is going to bring up my viewcontroller.h. Now you don't have to know exactly what that is, but that basically is what allows us to manipulate this stuff right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click this, control click, and I'm going to make it an outlet, okay? So that way actions can be done to it, and I'm going to make it called label for program. Hello world. And notice how this is capitalized, this is capitalized, this is capitalized, and this is capitalized. That's what programmers like to do, and we all kind of adhere to it. Now, for the button, we're going to make it an action because something's going to happen when happen when we do it. So I'm going to name this "Hello Self Button," and it is just a type of object. So that could be string, it could be anything, but it just it just means it's an object from what I from what I'm aware of. I'm not a hundred percent sure on all of this. All right, and then we're going to do the same exact thing except for the hello world button and this is gonna be hello world but button alright we have successfully done that so now what we need to do is we need to bring up the next portion okay so now I'm gonna bring this back and now we're gonna do our little bit of coding it's not a lot and this is the viewcontroller.m and this is the viewcontroller.h. This is a header file and this is where we define everything and this is what we define how we define what it actually does.
All right, so I'm going to get rid of this again for space. And the hello self button. So this is going to make it so that way the label, see it puts it up right here, label for program hello world, right? Dot txt, that means we're affecting the text in the actual label and not the memory location itself. Equals, we're going to do sh ns string, string with format, and this is hello self button, so we're going to make it hello self. Now what you're probably wondering is, what's this ns string string with format? Well, before when doing this, if you just put in this portion, something doesn't work. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it doesn't work. So what, what we do instead is we declare that this is going to be a string, and it's going to be the string with format of this. All right, And this at sign right here basically tells, the, tells Xcode and Objective-C that's going to be a C based string. So it's not going to be object so this is going to be like we're going away from objective C for a second and making it into C. And if you don't follow that then maybe you should you should probably go on Google or you should look at the C programming language by the creators of C and that will help you ex help explain some of this. So now we're going to do the same thing except for hello world button and it's going to be the same thing it's going to be label for program hello world dot txt equals and a string knows how it fills stuff out for me and then we're going to do hello world and that should be all we need to do to have the label change change text now in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at alerts because we're going to have alerts. See this how this works? It, this is just poor typing on my part. But the next video we're going to go into alerts and what we can do with them. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial.